last one, sponsored and powered by Bet Online as always. Game day going to Fort Worth. TCU 13 and a half, 68 and a half the total against West Virginia. This will be a shootout. West Virginia can't stop a nosebleed, and Greer's a good quarterback. They'll move the ball. This is a great story with TCU. It's a Gary Patterson defense like he's used to. They had the big win in Stillwater. Uh, revenge for the beatdown on the road last year, 34 to 10. Patterson's rebuilt his defense after a bad year, but Kenny Hill has turned it around at quarterback. The big recruit to AM then lost his job, uh, transferred out of there like a lot of quarterbacks did after he was a disappointment. Last year, completed 61% of his passes, 17 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. This year, completing 72%, nine touchdowns, three interceptions. He's supposed to get Hicks back, the running back, and the man who's been key is Anderson, who was great in the win at Stillwater against Oki State. 420 yards, 6.2 yards per carry with six touchdowns. They dominated the line of scrimmage in the road win against Oklahoma State. Very impressive. Let's see if they can keep it up. And they're going against another good quarterback here in Greer. Sure. But, I mean, your, your days of finding great value with TCU have come and gone. Uh, the market's all over TCU. Now, look at this price range. Uh, on the uh, uh, you know against the Mountaineers and some of it's anti West Virginia, but a TCU came into the season a little bit undervalued. That's no longer the case. Don't underestimate what this means when you talk about you know game day coming to Fort Worth. This is a big big deal to these kids. Uh, the safety Nico Small. That's every kid's dreams. You watch game day. You see the great teams play. You want to be a part of at least one of those teams. So uh, this is a huge game for the home squad. Are they big enough for it? Are they old enough for it? Are they uh, in uh, capable of the level of maturity that you need to handle some of these big situations. Certainly uh, in the baseball playoffs, we've seen the young pitchers have some struggles in these spots. And we could see a TCU situation where, well, they make a few more mistakes than they're used to because of that attention. Also, you talked about the fact they get Kyle Hicks back after missing a couple games. They don't need Kyle Hicks, man. Darius Anderson's been every bit as good, if not better, so far this season. And Greer's lived up to the hype, the Florida transfer. 13 touchdowns already, two good running backs with uh, Crawford and McCoy. Nine touchdowns combined, and they're both averaging more than six and a half yards per carry. The bad news, as I touched on earlier, is the defense, which has been horrible, especially against the run. 114th in the country, 226 yards per game, allowing over five yards per rush. And outside of Virginia Tech, when they had that Sunday night game to start the season, they haven't played anybody. How bad is it? The only road game, true road game, against Kansas – Kansas dropped 34 points on them, 560 yards, and almost 400 on the ground. What's going to happen against TCU if you can't stop the run? You're going to get carried out in a body bag. Sure, it's, and, and it's an interesting handicap. Again, the only way, the only thing I can look here is towards the chalk, uh, just like uh, the same thing we talked about in the Washington State-Oregon game. I don't want West Virginia plus the points in this contest. I would only want the favorite. I would only want the motivated favorite off that revenge uh, in a revenge spot from last year, but – I do worry about the price here, a little bit inflated, but under two touchdowns, TCU still the only way I can look. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now, we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.